We're gonna go over some of the finer details of perfecting your running form. And basically with Newton running form, we're talking about the land lever lift. Almost any sport you play, you're gonna get flexed ankles, flexed knees, and you're gonna be centered over your body mass. That's the way you ski, that's the way you play almost any sport. With that, you'll notice right away, I'm able to absorb shock and return energy by using both braking and propulsive muscles. If you strike on your heel with stiff legs, you have neither, no cushion, no energy return. Cushion, energy return simultaneously. If you use all toes, like a sprinter, you're all propulsive and no cushion. So if you're walking, it's very natural to strike and roll. If you're sprinting, it's very natural to be very forward with the upper body and the feet, the foot strike. But endurance running and safety, the forefoot's gonna strike, the foot will settle level to the ground. With the benefit of the Newtons, you get leverage and then simply lift. In the walking gait, we strike the heel, roll through to the toe, and we can do this pretty much all day. You can walk all day long, it's very efficient, there's very little impact, and there is a heel strike and roll through with walking. Now if you jog, you'll notice that you'll tend to land underneath the body and not over stride. This is slow pace running, and a good warm up is to jog. The third is efficiency running. A little more lean, looking forward, nice and relaxed, lifting a little bit more with the knee. And now sprinting, the landing is more forward, the lean is more forward. The next thing we're gonna look at is looking forward to be drawn forward with gravity. You wanna have a little lean from your waist, uh, not from the shoulders particularly, nice and straight at the shoulders, but lean forward slightly. That'll pull you forward and help you land over your center of your body mass uh, because that is what we wanna create high cadence and landing underneath the body mass as opposed to overstriding and breaking. It's very easy to put your heel out in front of your body mass if you're leaning back a little bit. It's very easy to strike real hard with your toes and push off if you're more of a toe runner. Um, so heel striker or toe runner is really high. What are the injuries that are around that as well? If you're a heel striker, you have this braking that we were just demonstrated a moment ago. You have rotational forces, and now you have to push through and push off hard here which is overusing your calf, your Achilles, and your plantar fascia. The next thing we want to look at is uh, finding your sweet spot. With Newton running, that's very important because the technology is centered over your forefoot. You want to find your upper body position in position with your landing uh, strike. So if you're right, if you, if you strike right over the forefoot, right where the actuator lugs are, you'll then feel the levering action, and then you simply lift. So land lever lift, so it's athletic position, find the sweet spot, which is a tipping point for your leverage. You're gonna now look forward, you're gonna lean slightly, and you're just gonna touch and lift. So land, lever, lift. By sensing the ground quicker, you'll be able to feel the technology, allow the technology to work as a cushion, as a levering unit, and then as a propulsion unit. So land, lever, lift means using less of your own power and more stored and retrieved energy from their working muscle and tendon and from the footwear itself. So unlike any other shoe on the market, one of the biggest things that you can experience once you find your sweet spot of landing and feeling the tipping point or leverage of the Newton running shoe in conjunction with the proper upper body position on the footwear, you'll now be able to run with less energy, uh, greater speed, and reduce rotational forces and impact forces.